the day. I'm gonna do an unboxing of this Fly Sky FS GT3B radio with the screen. Instructions from these instructions. All that stuff. Yeah. Guys, this looks like it's gonna be great. This radio does require eight double A's. Alright, in order oh, for that not to happen, you gotta put this little piece in. There we go. Alright, so I had to put this piece of um, double sided tape onto here to keep these batteries from falling out. And you will need this plastic piece that comes with the radio to keep these ones from falling out. If you press this right here, this channel three trim, uh, that is, as it says, the channel three trim. Just keep it there, enter. And once you click enter, it'll let you scroll around these. So you got trims. Uh, if you want to change the channel trim, enter. So like channel one. Channel 2. Click it again. You can keep changing. I named it Savage because that's the car I'm putting it in. Okay, so this is the model select. So enter and then scroll. This radio has uh, 10 models, 0 to 9. So using 0 right now. Name, enter, and you can change it. Uh, and then click and to change the letter enter to select reverse um channel one channel two and channel three epa and point adjustment a uh, hundred percent left and to change And then use the wheel to change that. Enter. ABS auto brakes. It's not what it actually is. It's anti-lock brake system. So it'll engage and disengage uh, if you have it on. So off is just always braking when you're holding it. Slow means that if you're holding the, thro the brake all the way on, then it will slowly release and brake. Release and brake, and then speedily re release and brake. This might burn out your servo, so I tend to not use it. Off. Exponential, I'm not sure what that is, and dual rate. Here's our receiver and bind plug. This comes with an antenna tube, so. Let's see. Plug it in and go. So I'm gonna be putting it in my Savage and we're gonna see how good this radio really is. So just get some adhesive double-sided tape or foam, double-sided sticky foam. And then get the antenna out. So gonna thread the wire through like so you're gonna want to cut off any access but uh, cut off the access before you thread it through otherwise you might cut the actual wire 